Welcome back to another episode of Wolf Among Us. And we left off with quite a bang. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. Man, he's angry. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going Peace. on? Shut up. Shit! The train's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. You're being oh, really annoying right Snow. now. If I can find her, I can. God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? Is, is this really the time for that? They're on their way out. More important Bigby? stuff going on. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... Beauty, I have to go. Just... Wait a second and listen. This is important. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Um, okay. And yes, I agree. Snow's been through a lot. But more important stuff, people. I, I don't know why this is... Got a killer to catch. is uh, an interesting place for a funeral. I don't know. It's kind of cozy. I'm enjoying the aesthetic. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be I here. Won't, um, Sorry. I thank you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will in time equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn well, I mean, and... It's cool that I can move and all. Rash and thoughtful. Trying to be respectful, she though. she carried a torch for the old ways. For tradition. For Guess I'll go wander around during the funeral. About and most of all, like a jackass. Fights. I'll miss really you. Loved, I'll really loved, just roll up over so here and read everybody's cards. Good times now you will never die I from never indifference Lily, or lead a tedious life. Told. Goodbye, I'm kind of digging the helmet, though. Thanks for everything, have liked to be here today. Vivian. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town, and I miss you already, Gran. Yeah, it sounds like Gran. Bigby, is everything okay? No. Not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my what sister do do down exactly? the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. Oh. After you lie and say you'll check first. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. 
Yeah, don't blame that shit on me. I didn't I'm do that. I'm telling you the truth. Don't I didn't press any buttons to do that. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Uh, I'm sure. I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, alright? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck Do you anything. know nothing. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear okay, me? Okay, well that part's probably true. I do attract a lot of trouble. Just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this, I am here stuff, to save your life. the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is. I don't even know what to say right now. I yeah, really don't. I wouldn't know what to say in that I'm moment either. just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because Detective. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. Old guys are Del so Crane's creepy, there, aren't they? Sour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Well, you weren't there, so not as well as I'd hoped. No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! Oh, man. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. We'll sit oh, to the chase. This motherfucker sex. is about to get bird it. Told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation, is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. 
Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working? I'm starting to crazy? really hate these two. Did he send you. No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, uh, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's uh, he's got her true Very show, sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Uh-oh, Grindle's eyes starting to twitch. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. What did, uh, I, what did I say? Ali? Yeah, uh, and you were right. Fuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Uh, well, that was that. Damn it. I got it done! Uh, crap. Take him out. See? They got rid of the shotgun too. Knew I made the right decision. Get rid of your other toy. Wait, how the hell did he get his back so quick? Ow. Well. Okay, that that sucked. I have a feeling that could have gone a lot better. Don't tell me she's dead. <laughs> I would have gotten both sisters killed. Well, I didn't get the other one killed. That wasn't my fault, but... A crooked mile. Oh, man. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town Yay. physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't go I got some ass to go whoop. Fights. Keep strain off oh. your heart. And try and get some rest. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be this fine. guy is a stoop. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of... Because it's probably under a bridge. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Taking it easy Did, not did really you just tell the thing, wolf to eat more doc. chicken? Well, whatever your thing is, try and make it work better for you next time. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Don't, don't look at me with my shirt off. I know you're... So, to recap... Yeah. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. How about And he didn't stop him? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But 
I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything These are all very good him, points. I get it, but do you really but we should think go whoop he some ass. those women? Because it's just... it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? That's a very polite way of Everything saying okay uh, you were his there? sexual desire. Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thanks oh, for bumpkin. tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad. I guess it could have gone worse. No one died. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, mm, this is not going to be mind. good. Why? What's on your mind? It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Mm, because it like gives a good you an fight, excuse to but... Just, you know, stop pretending. I'm also very emo. I guess it does. Emo matter. sheriff. Uh, hey guys, we have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Hmm. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, well, it's, uh. I'm gonna go with missing a piece. Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no it idea can do how that? long that will take. That's a pretty badass mirror. That's the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No, we can't depend on the mirror. All right, how long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we still saw this ourselves. <laughs> Bitch! I know never that mind that's what he said. Come help me look. All right. Here I go again. 